when God is not a priority in our plans, our plans don't go as well as expected. And sometimes they can take off, but then they come crashing down. So as we enter this new year, new year, new me, who this boo, you know the sayings that what everybody be saying. Don't forget to make sure that God is a part of that new year. Put him there and watch how different this year be from last year. It might just blow your mind. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel, The Soren Seward Family. I'm Ivy, thank you so much for joining me for another Friday Mommy Moment with me. And notice, you do not have to be a mommy to enjoy this moment, all you need is a moment. So thank you, go ahead and smash the subscribe button, ring that notification bell, so you can be notified whenever we upload a video. It's Friday and it's the last Friday of the year. Y'all, we about to be in 2020. And you know the first thing that we do when you come here is we do our Friday shout outs. And today I am so excited about our Friday shout outs because I love to love on people. Hopefully you do the same. You feel what I'm saying? Let's get to it. The first shout out that I'm giving out is going to Chrissy. She is totally amazing, totally beautiful, and I love her being a part of my life. Since we have connected on YouTube, it has been such a blessing for me to even meet her. These lashes I got on, yes, check them out, check them out. They came from her business. <laughs> I will have her link down in our description box. Make sure you guys go and check her out and show some love. And if you do stop by, let her know that, hey, the Soren Seaver family said, hello. The second shout out is going to the Aaron's Going Global. Her name is Chrissy too. Says, I love you so very much. Thank you for supporting us on all avenues. I appreciate you so much. And I'm looking forward to getting to this new year with you. The third shout out is going to Fun With The Girls, Bree. Hey Bree, thank you so much for holding me down. I appreciate you. It's been a minute since I gave you a shout out, so I'm here to give you another one. Yes, you and all the kids and a hubby and your channel. Congratulations on getting monetized. Congratulations on all your hard work. I am so glad to see you back uploading videos and editing and doing your little things, sprinkling your little stuff on the little, little, little video. Oh. Am, am I sweating on the video? Oh, okay. I'll be right back. Okay, sometimes, sometimes I get a little carried away and I need to get myself together, but I get pretty excited about people. <laughs> All right, you guys, let's get into this Friday mommy moment topic. You guys already know I got my coffee. Go ahead and grab your beverage, whatever you need, your snacks, whatever it is that you need to come and kick it with me. Let's get it. You guys, this is the last Friday mommy moment of the year and I'm so excited because I feel like I try to come and I encourage you guys. I pray that I have done that this year with you guys because you guys definitely encourage me. But as we get ready to enter this new year, a lot of us are looking back and we're putting things down that we're not gonna take into the new year with us. A lot of us are, you know, leaving relationships leaving depression, leaving anxiety, and we're like, you know what, I don't wanna take these new things into the new year. And we hear this quote, new year, new me, new year, new me. And that's all great, and that's all fine. But what I want to encourage you to do is, with all the things that you are placing back there that you don't wanna take into the new year, I want you to make sure that you have God with you. See, we have our own plans and we could get too busy within ourselves saying all the things that we're gonna do, naming all our goals, all the weight, all the projects, everything, everything that we're gonna do and we forget to put God on that list. Now, I know everybody that's watching, they might not be a believer like I am, but you guys, I always have to speak my truth and hope that it encourages someone because I don't want to be so caught up in what the world is doing that I lose focus on what God has me doing. You guys, as we enter this new year, we can make as many plans as we want. We can set as many goals as we want. But if God is not somewhere on that list, and I mean first on that list, we might not make it very far into the new year before we crash down. Get excited. It's a new year, y'all. We get to start over. We about to be doing things. 
But make sure that you have God in the midst of that plan that you got going on. Whatever your goal is, make sure that you talked about it with him first. Make sure that you want to make sure. You hear that? Make sure that you want to make sure that you're exactly where God wants you to be. And we won't know that if we don't talk to him. So many times I made a lot of plans and I didn't include God and every single last one of them failed. Every single last one of them failed. When God is not a priority in our plans, our plans don't go as well as expected. And sometimes they can take off, but then they come crashing down. So as we enter this new year, new year, new me, who this boo, you know the sayings and what everybody be saying. Don't forget to make sure that God is a part of that new year. Put him there and watch how different this year be from last year. It might just blow your mind. Trust me. So that's what I had to come and share with you guys today. Everything that you got going on, everything that you got going on, don't forget to let God be a part of it because he wants you to receive all the promises that he has for you. I love you guys. Stay blessed, stay true, continue to be you because the world needs more people like who like you. And if you're not feeling needed, remember here on the Soren Seabit Family Channel, you are always needed. Peace out, great people. Happy New Year.